Hello, I'm Eric Merritt from HomeSmart Realty and Eric Merritt sells AZ Real Estate. This video is going to talk about types of offers that you should expect, uh, definitely below the 300000 price range. And we're also going to talk about types of offers over 300000 But we're also going to dis discuss the seller concessions that are very prevalent in the price ranges below 300000 because a lot of sellers don't think that they should accept an offer with seller concessions. You don't have to, it's your choice, but I'm just telling you the majority of the buyers out there will in that price range from two to 300,000 are asking for seller concessions. And I do have a illustration directly from the data that I got from the MLS from September 1st to September 29th that shows in all four categories, cash, conventional, FHA, and VA, what the percentage was of the concessions they got and what the average amount of concessions were. So we're going to talk about that later in this video. There is our solar LED lighted listing sign that's included on all listings, regardless of the price range. Okay, types of offers depending on your price range. These are the following offers that you should expect to receive when your home is listed. These are the factors below that will determine what type of offers you're going to have and if you are going to get seller concessions asked based on location, demographics, income levels, quality of schools, proximity to shopping areas, and many more. 150000 to 300000 are usually lots of single family homes and condominiums. They're very common for first time home buyers, have very little to no money down sometimes do need the down payment assistance. There are DPA programs out there for that, that you can use as leverage to get a home. Can have their own down payment also, or pay cash even. Common for buyers to ask for seller concessions, two to 3% of sales price, sometimes less. 3% is the absolute most you can ask for seller concessions. FHA and VA loans are common, sometimes conventional cash buyers if they're buying a second home especially. Over 300,000 single family and condos once again usually have equity from a past home. Concessions are less likely and are less percentage wise because they're taking equity from another house that they had so they can pay for their of course pay for the down payment and their closing costs. That there sometimes still are concessions but they're very le much less than if it was below 300000 FHA and VA loans still do exist, however, conventional is much more common in this category, and especially cash. FHA is capped at 314875 right now, so when you add the 3.5% down payment for an FHA, it works up to 325 326-ish for the purchase price. Down payment is 5% on conventional loan. There are conventionals that are 3%. 20% or more is what's very common because at 20% you can get rid of, guess what? Primary mortgage insurance and save that money for yourself. Jumbo conventional loans above 500,000 and paying in cash are common. Here's some uh, three examples. Some of these are from Santan Valley and Queen Creek, but the 50 cents examples that I have on the next slides are going to talk about 85142 only. So here's one example that sold for 230000 right here. It was a 1513 square feet, three bedroom, two bath. It was on the market from July 2nd to August 6th. So that's what, 34 days right there. This one was 239 list. It sold for 230. Now they dropped it to 233, 6,000 under, and they got it under contract at 230 and had 5,000 in concessions. So the seller actually netted 225 coming from 239. So either the home was overpriced or the, or the agent and the seller did not counter back to the buyers for that. So if it was me, I would have countered back to like, 235, 234, and that way the 230 is pretty much just about the bottom line and not 225 like this example was. Uh, the next example, this one was in Santan Heights. This is the best example. Uh, this is a great one. 
1913 square feet, four bedroom, two and a half bath. It was only listed from July 19th and went under contract on August 5th. So that is, what, 16 days right there. The original list price was 265. It sold for 270,000 on an FHA loan and it had 7,000 in seller concession. So that means the price was at 270. So that means the seller netted 263. So the seller only had to eat 2,000 in seller concessions as opposed to 258. So that's how you can write up an offer so that the seller, the buyer's winning because they're getting the money that they need for closing costs, and then the seller is only eating 2,000 of the, of the 7,000 for seller concessions. So this is the proper way to write up an offer, and obviously it appraised, otherwise it wouldn't have closed. So there was, there was enough money left so that there was no appraisal trouble in this example because it did close. Uh, here's another example in Santan Valley. This is 1371 square feet. It sold for 240000 It was listed only two days. Listed August 20th and it went under contract on the 22nd. So the original list price was 239350 Sold for two forty, so six hundred and fifty dollars over. But it had five thousand in seller concessions, also on an FHA loan. So the math works out to two thirty five was the seller's net instead of two thirty nine three fifty. So what probably happened was one of two things: either the price was completely matched out and could not absorb the seller concessions, or the agent and the seller did not counter back to raise the price even halfway to absorb. The concession. So if you raise the price halfway in this example, then it would be 2425. That makes sense. So that way, the seller is getting, the seller is netting more, obviously, 2500 more, providing it didn't run into appraisal trouble. So here's an illustration of homes, 59 homes sold in Queen Creek. I got information on 50 sets of them. Three of them, the numbers were not available, but we got 50 sets of them. Um, there's 45 active listings as of today on September 29th, I mean, as of September 30th, sorry. So that works out to a 0.76 months of supply or only 23 days. So cash, there was 15 homes sold cash at 962.33 cents, average amount of concessions here. Conventional, there's 25 sold, with an average of 24.77 and 10 cents. FHA, only 11 were sold on an FHA loan, which really surprised me actually. 3507.63 was the average amount of seller concessions here. And a VA loan, five of them were sold with the average amount at 33.25. So this next chart is going to talk about the average amount of people that got concessions based on how they paid for it, and then the highest amount of seller concessions on each of these four. Cash 26.7% got seller concessions. The highest amount was 82.50. It doesn't make any sense to me why there are seller concessions on cash, but anyway. Conventional 32% got seller concessions on a conventional loan. The average, I mean, I'm sorry, the highest amount in seller concessions was 82.50, and they range from zero all the way to 82.50. FHA, 72.7% of all FHA buyers did get seller concessions. Two of them were, the, were tied at the highest at $7,000. A VA loan, 80%, so four out of five got seller concessions, and the highest amount was $5,000, and the others were less than that, for the average amount to be $33.25. So that shows, that really shows the seller concessions can be workable if you price it correctly and then you off and then you counter it back to the buyer so that way you the seller can net more money so this is what this video is is important about so if the listing agents doing their job then they should be getting the most money that you can which is what we are in business to do is to help you net the most money providing you don't we don't get into appraisal trouble and I've never gotten into appraisal because I'm very very good and methodical about knowing all the properties that are out there and knowing the comparables. 
Anyway, thank you very much. If you have any more questions, feel free to give me a call at 480-999-6061. And we hope to do business with you very soon. Thank you.